It's getting late. You know what happens when you miss the school bus. Mama drives you to school. Then I lick my fingers and smooth out your eyebrows and give you a big, loud, sloppy kiss in front of all your little friends. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. Hi, Jerome. Hey, James. Look at this, Mama. Every one of my stocks is up today. Now, see, if this were real instead of just a social studies project, I'd be set so sweet, I'd be beating the honeys off with a stick. <laughs> Don't be cheap, son. You hire someone to beat them off with a stick for you. I've got a stick. How much you pay? I said, take that shit off, woman. Why can't I wear it? It's just hanging in your closet. <laughs> There's a reason it's hanging in my closet. It's mine. Mama, tell him he's being selfish. I ain't in it. Apple or orange? Orange. Why can't she wear her own stuff? Apple or orange? Orange. <laughs> James. Apple. Apple? Oh, that's supper point. Oh, we talk about real fruit here, son. United fruit? Hold on. Oh, now, see, that's down by three. Now, Otis took a bath on that when I got out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's that bus. Oh. Y'all better get on out of here. Make her take that shirt off. She ain't in this. Oh, that shirt's smelling like you already. <laughs> well, Mama, I am off to Wall Street. Oh, the yellow limo awaits, son. <laughs> Bye, Mama. Come on over here, little man. Ain't nobody looking but you and me. <laughs> I've been working hard, two jobs every day. Giving time to my children, showing them the way. With God on my side, keeping me in line. I don't worry about a thing, it's gonna be fine. Project. Read it, but please don't weep for joy. I hate to see my mama cry. You got an A. You come over here and let mama hug you. You just so friendly. <laughs> That's right, mama. I got the highest grade in my class. But more importantly, I made the most money on my portfolio. Oh, this is beautiful. It's so beautiful, and I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> See, I knew there was a brain in that head. And now that its capacity has been truly revealed... Mama, please don't go there. Well, there's no telling what subject you can take that you won't excel in. <laughs> History, geography, English, you can excel in everything. But Mama, those things don't interest me, but the stock market does. I have a natural gift for it, like that guy Mozart. Now, see, he was a natural at making music. I'm a natural at making money. I'm the Mozart of money. All Mozart need to make music was a piano. You're gonna need high school, college, and a good business school. And they're gonna expect good grades in everything. And if they see an A followed by a CCC, they're gonna go CCC it. Man, this is a tough family for a young genius to live in. I wonder how Mozart handled his mama. Why don't you study your history, you find out. <laughs> Jerome, baby. Yeah. Not the cheeks. Not the cheeks. You not the oh, Look at all my stuff I found at Denisha's room. That girl's like it on press charge. Just look at this. It's got some stuff I haven't seen in months. T-shirts, sweatshirts, socks. She even stole my box of shorts. Hey, women in box of shorts. That's a big trend. See? Underwear's up. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the future. And you'll have boxers to burn when I hit it big. Yeah, when I hit it big.
I'm sorry, Mrs. Montgomery. Your surgery will have to wait. It is my brother's birthday. Well, if you'd like, I can recommend the second best doctor in this field. <laughs> Good. Then I will replace your heart tomorrow. I am so thrilled. Jerome has taken time from his busy schedule to visit us. Imagine our brother, the world's youngest billionaire. Hey, if it weren't for him, I'd never have become a world-renowned surgeon. And I'd never have become a much sought-after tax attorney and Grammy-winning recording star, my latest release, Denisha with a D, with Whitney Houston singing back up. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you are, my two beautiful, successful children in my beautiful, successful house. Mama, don't you ever get lonely in this 52-room mansion by yourself? Oh, darling, I do have 24 servants. Oh, wait, 25. I just hired a beak polisher for the canary. <laughs> you ever miss the old days, Mother, when we were all struggling and had nothing? Denisha, get real. <laughs> it's him, our brother Jerome. Yes, I can tell by that confident doorbell ring. <laughs> Back to you, Jerome, right away. Come to Mama, darling. Mother. <laughs> I hate to mention this in front of the other siblings, but you were always my favorite. Oh, Mother, that's not right. No, it's true. And we don't mind. Where's young James? He's flying in from college. You know he had an important exam. But since you built their dome stadium, they just went ahead and gave him a diploma. <laughs> I think that's him now. Am I too late? No, you're just in time, darling. For what? Well, we know you didn't want us to make a fuss on your birthday. And we would never go against your wishes. Because let's face it, you own us. <laughs> that is right. I own all y'all. <laughs> Excuse me, children. <laughs> now, I know this is your fantasy and everything, mm -hmm. but make no mistake, I'm still your mom, and I'll whoop your beer in your butt right up in here, OK? <laughs> Take that back with you. <laughs> OK, mama. <laughs> now, about your birthday. <laughs> we all got together and decided to give you something that was long overdue. Are you ready, children? We, we apologize, apologize, Jerome. Apologize to me? For what? for hounding you to study English, geography, and history, when all along you knew best. I feel so foolish. There, there, Mother. Apologies are all well and good, but the truth is, y'all, it's enough just to be rich and right. Rich and right. Rich and right. Yeah. Hey, Jarvis, would you lend me some money to invest in the stock market? What are you, dreaming? Come on, man, I'm not talking about a lot of money. Come on, Jarvis, you work two jobs, you never spend a dime, you still got your tooth fairy money. Hey, you wanna know why? Because I don't give it to 14-year-olds to put in the stock market. Oh, come on, man, you don't have to give me the money, just lend it to me. Fat chance of getting him to lend you anything. Hold on, got to check you out. <laughs> Okay, pass. Look at him. Not a sharing bone in his body. Not a shred of generosity. Excuse me. We're talking about my clothes and my money. <laughs> to which I say to both of you, get your own. <laughs> Denise. Now, I know you got some money. Yeah, and it's coming with me down to the mall to replace the wardrobe, Mr. Take That Off and Put That Back, Took Back. <laughs> Ooh, it is cold outside. See ya. Well, I'm off to the bank to deposit my paycheck. You know the bank? The place where people who have money keep money. <laughs> Forget you, man. I just asked Mama for the money. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm sorry, wait a minute. Jerome, do you really think Mama will give you money to put in the stock market? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, man. 
<laughs> Where's my jacket? Denisha! Boy, sure smell good here. <laughs> well, thank you, baby. You know, Mom, I still can't believe how well I did on my stock market project. <laughs> my baby, the A-man. <laughs> well, nice talking to you. How much do you think you'd need? Need? For what? You were going to ask me for some money for the stock market, weren't you? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, give me a number. Well, you know, I was thinking maybe about five, three, a couple hundred dollars tops. <laughs> okay. Well, here's 20. 20 dollars? Oh. Hush, Jerome. Watch your mama concentrate and raise some capital. Now go over there and get that jar that says El Paso is for lovers. <laughs> <laughs> and I seem to remember some fish sticks you children refused to eat. Too bad. Shifty no. We got $120, Mama. Oh, hush, baby. You're breaking up Mama's rhythm. Mm. <laughs> hey! Come on, honey. Man. Work with me. $160. Oh, I can work with this. Mama didn't say she was through, now, did she? Cha-ching! <laughs> two twenties. That's our two hundred dollars. Yeah. All right, Mama. Thank you. Now, you do as the good book says and be fruitful and multiply. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. You know, who knows what this might lead to? Someday you may be able to buy your own mansion and have a beat polisher for your canary. <laughs> All right, Mrs. Terrell, what stocks would you like to buy? Tell him, Jerome. 20 shares of O'Donnell Plastics and 25 of Fargo. Interesting. May I ask why you've chosen them? Clue the man in, Jerome. Well, you see, O'Donnell Plastics has made a successful conversion from defense supply to household products. Goodbye guided missiles, hello sandwich bags. Now, I know they're good because my mama switched over. That's right. And if there's one thing I know, it's my sandwich bags. <laughs> and what about Fargo Toys? You realize, of course, they've been in a slump. But this year, they're under new management. They retooled their entire operation, and they're sitting on big cash reserves. Tell me my baby didn't do his research. <laughs> and the biggest thing is that Fargo's got next year's hot toy craze, the Beta Warrior 6000, with arms that turn into rockets and the laser-shooting roving eye of death. And my sources tell me that come Christmas, they're going to be flying off the shelves. Who is your source? My little brother. <laughs> and that boy knows toys like I know sandwich bags. Very impressive, Jerome. You've really done your homework. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I can't help myself. Oh, no, cheats. Oh. <laughs> Jarvis, when you were putting away the laundry, did any of my clothes get mixed up with yours? No. Well, what are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for my coral blouse with the ruffle collar. You mean this one? <laughs> what? It doesn't match? I see. It's payback time. Take it off. I'm wearing it tomorrow. Well, no, I'm wearing it today. See, I'm going down to the gym to play a little three-on-three. -three. Blouses and skins. <laughs> not in that blouse. Mama, will you look at him? Oh, Jarvis, that's not your color. <laughs> Why not? I think it brings out my eyes. Give it back. Hey, you started this business? It's not the same. Yes, it is. Mama! Hey, I'm invisible. I ain't in this. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Oh, I found another 20. Where'd that come from? <laughs> not a money, man. Hey. How we doing? I'm just checking out. Sit down, partner. Okay. Now, remember, you want to look right here. I know, I know. I look down here to find our stuff. Here it is, Fargo Toys. And then I go across here to see that we are, hello, up a point and a half. All, All right. right, Beta Warrior 6000. <laughs> With the moving oil of death. 
Okay, let's check O'Donnell Plastics. O'Donnell, O'Donnell. Here we go. Uh-oh. Down by two. Down again? What's going on? I don't know. Look, maybe it's time we got out of O'Donnell and double up on Fargo Toy. We'll take a small loss now, but in the long run, we'll do better. Okay, we put all our eggs in the Fargo basket. You feel good about that? Hey, James, what do you want for Christmas? Beta Warrior 6000 with the roving death eye. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Mr. Reynolds, my favorite stockbroker. Yeah, yeah, I'm near TV. What channel? I don't know. Yeah, look, I'll call you back, all right? All right, bye. That was Henry Braxton, chairman of the board of Fargo Toys. To recap, stores across the country have suspended orders on Fargo Toys' Beta Warrior 6000. The move follows a complaint by the parents of a six-year-old who swallowed the roving death eye. <laughs> Though the toy company denies any responsibility, Fargo stockholders could pay dearly for this unexpected turn of events. <laughs> Oh, man, this thing could bury us. What should I do? Ride it out? Yeah, yeah, that's it. But what if I'm wrong? Why'd I get into this? The pressure's killing me. <laughs> Christmas is such a wonderful time of year, especially when you're loaded. <laughs> <laughs> and what a lucky mother I am to be surrounded by such wonderful and successful children. Me. A highly respected surgeon. And me, a Grammy Award-winning tax specialist. <laughs> yes, you both have done extremely well. But your success pales next to the eye-popping achievements of your younger brother. Is somebody talking about moi? <laughs> James. James! Sorry I'm late. The president had me up all night picking my brain about the trade deficit with Japan. <laughs> Mother, please, I'm 30 years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this Christmas is turning out to be perfect. I can't imagine anything that could spoil it. <laughs> hey! Hey, yo! I spoke too soon. Oh, Mother, do we have to let him in? Of course, Jarvis. He's family, even though he is a failure. Frederick, let him in. But watch him. <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry yeah. Christmas. You know, I just came by to wish y'all the best for the holiday season and to get warm. <sighs> oh, Lord. Just look at him. Such a sorry sight. <laughs> I should have never given him the money in the first place. Look what it's led to. Three wonderful, successful children and him. You know... I've been doing some research. And see, with the cold and flu season coming around, I found this company that developed a process to recycle Kleenex. Jerome, forget. And I hate to mention this in front of the other children, but you were my least favorite. No, wait a minute. It's Christmas. Isn't it time to forgive and forget? How about we give our loser brother one last chance? Nah, maybe not. <laughs> well, uh, guess I'll be going then. Merry Christmas. Wait, son. I don't want you to leave this house empty-handed. Frederick has some old clothes for you and some second-hand food. <laughs> you know... That man could have been something. He had ambition. He had drive. <laughs> he just had one little problem. He kept picking the wrong stock. <laughs> Mama! 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 Fargo's in big trouble. We gotta sell before we're wiped out. Calm down, Jerome. I'm sorry, Mama. I blew it. I'll pay you back. I promise. Shh, shh. Have a seat, have a seat. Never mind me, get the phone, the phone. Get a grip. 
scriptural. <laughs> I'm trying to, Mama, but it's hard when you're losing money. Is that what you thought I got in this for? It wasn't the money, baby. It was because my son took an interest in something that he had a talent for. And as your mama, it was my responsibility. No, I take that back. It was my pleasure to invest in that talent. Can't you understand that, baby? I think so, Mama. Can you make that phone call now? <laughs> Let's have a board of directors meeting. Now, what's going on with Fargo Toys? Some stupid six-year-old swallowed the death eye and they're blaming the company. I think something's going on. Because James and his little friends was over here the other day. Mm -hmm. And they were playing with that toy. They stomped it. They threw it against the wall. They beat it up. They even bit it. I found one in the garbage disposal. It was chewed up. But that eye was still intact. And it was still roving. <laughs> so what are you saying? You don't think the six-year-old swallowed it? The only way I'll believe it is if they tell me they found that eye coming out the other end. You know, I never noticed that about the eye. That's because you don't have mama vision. You have market vision. And now that you've settled down some, what does your vision say about our stock? Well, if you're right, this thing could blow over. Well, do I make that call? But we can lose a bundle. Oh, I don't care if we lose it all. As far as I'm concerned, this investment has paid off in big dividends already. Thanks, Mama. Why don't we let it ride? That's my stockbroker baby talking. Going for broke. <laughs> oh, Mama, never say broke to a stockbroker. Well, that's my Oh, baby. not the cheeks. Oh. And the Dow Jones was up three points on heavy trading. Now updating the Fargo Toys Beta Warrior story, it appears the six-year-old boy did not swallow the roving death eye or any other body part for that matter. On this good news, Fargo's stock rebounded up two and a half points. Yes! But the big winner of the day was O'Donnell Plastic, soaring 12 points. They do make a nice sandwich bag. <laughs>